All right, so this is probably gonna look a lot different compared to the types of videos that you've seen from us before, mainly because I'm gonna record this on my phone because it's a lot more convenient with the type of stuff I'm doing and actually all the camera equipment's over there. And I normally set a lot of that stuff up manually, but this is project time. We're gonna talk about what this room was typically used for and how we're gonna be converting it into more of a dynamic space that's not just my office. It's actually going to turn into something else entirely but give us more options for shooting videos and turn this into more of a studio and land center for me and my friends to actually play video games and stuff, which is gonna be super cool. We actually had a gaming session. Hopefully I will get some footage and so throw it up on screen right now. That way you guys can see. And if you just saw it, it looks pretty freaking cool. We've got, you know, three players POVs, cameras piped in, a main camera piped in, and even audio coming from each person's computer over NDI being streamed to this other PC that's doing all the encoding for us. Yeah, streaming, it was impossible. Sorry guys, if you saw the poll that we put out on YouTube, we just weren't able to do it. The bandwidth just was not there with three people playing online and trying to stream it first. So yeah, let's go ahead, turn this camera around and give you guys a look at what this space looks like. And I 1000% apologize for how messy it looks in here. We are definitely in the stages of, you know, trying to make this into something. And by we, I mean currently right now me, because I'm the only one working on this stuff, but some of the other guys have actually pitched in and gave ideas and even, you know, put some money towards this project. And I am putting in the labor and maybe some of those guys will be able to come up in the next few weeks and we can continue this kind of evolving series of showing you what the studio slash land center turns into. So let me show you guys what I've done so far. Okay, so this is the entrance and we've got that curtain up just because it, the sun was coming in here and it was getting freaking hot. Um, yeah, that sucks. So here's my desk where I record stuff, do videos, and yes, tons of drinks from over the days and, you know, Xbox controller, flathead screwdriver, and tools are pretty much everywhere at this point and started taking the sound um, acoustic panels or whatever off the wall. But this is the big update. The brown couch has been removed. We do have an ethernet cable just ran across the floor. It was behind the couch whenever we were having the LAN party, but yeah, we did, we've done some work since then. So the couch has been moved out and we have started, or I have started to install these desks and they are awesome. They come with these really cool brackets that essentially allow you to push a lever right here, wherever it's at. It's hard to do this and film myself. But yeah, there's like these brackets underneath. You push up on this and pull the desk up on both sides and it actually folds down. Now, my walls are like nowhere near straight. They are crooked, they're bowed. Um, some of the walls are actually uh, on an angle that kind of bows out like this and the brackets are on the bottom side of that and it allows them to essentially kind of point down. So I've had to put shims in place, but we actually have three of these desks installed so far, and we try to keep a little minimal gap between them. And at this point, I have to say I'm pretty satisfied with it. But yes, the difference in gap from here and there and over here is so frustrating to me. Um, this building is not square at all, and that kind of sucks. But yeah, so there are three desks that are currently installed. One, two, three. And we're also going to install two more here. One's gonna go just a little bit, like a half a foot past where this desk is currently at. And it's gonna go from here to right around here. And then there's actually gonna be another one that goes from like here to like there-ish. Just enough to where we can still open the fridge if we lay this table down completely. Um, and I, I think if we're still gaming and stuff around here, it'll be fine. But yes, we also have um, tons of trash in here from the LAN party that we had and boxes from this stuff and another awful setup. And this is really what inspired it, right? Um, <laughs> we literally just threw stuff together and there was not enough space on the desktop for a keyboard and mouse. Uh, this right here is a super old desk. It's super heavy, but it wobbles way too much. We didn't want, you know, things wobbling. We wanted to be able to fold them down so we can also shoot videos in here. And there's other parts of this project that we're gonna be trying to film on too. So I'm gonna try to get a few angles and show you guys me the process of doing this. 
um, within the next day or so, but that's going to be in this video. No worries there. Um, this video may just be a little slow coming out because of that. Yeah, so if the desks are like this, um, the question you may have is where the computer is going to go because this is not a this is not a really deep desk. Um, like I'd say if I put my arms down on here, my keyboard would probably be right back here, my mouse around this area. So it's not gonna be deep. So we are not going to put the monitors on the desk actually, because if you can see these two that are stored over here, that leaves no room to be desired. And that kind of sucks, or I guess it leaves more room to be desired. And what we're actually gonna do is we're going to get into the studs in certain areas, and we're going to put a gas spring dual monitor mount with two arms on it. So every single place is gonna have those, but none of the computers are going to sit on the desktop. The desktop is only going to house in a perfect world of what we're thinking, just the keyboard and just the mouse and a mouse pad, obviously. So if we're gonna do that, where are the computer's gonna go? Well, we are going to do a floating shelf that comes in right around this height. And uh, let me try to point it out on this wall so it's a little easier for you to see. Probably right around here, and we're gonna put two 27-inch monitors at every single location. So once we put those monitors there, um, the problem that we're going to run into is we need to do cable management. And what we're going to try to do is be really slick and use some raceway, but we're going to paint it like an accent color of how to tech. That way it looks kind of aesthetic uh, or it gives that aesthetic of how to tech and it doesn't just look like track ran up the wall. We're going to run power and ethernet up that and the shelf's going to sit right around here. It's going to be floating just right to where you've got maybe that much room between the top of the monitor and the shelf. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna be easier to conceal those cables. And this floating shelf is actually going to, um, yeah, just it's just gonna be sitting right around there and the computers are gonna go on top of them. So you can see a shelf probably right around here and then computers in like this area. And it's gonna give easy access for cable management, which is the main thing. It's going to not show the cables like down near the setup as much and it's just gonna be cool, hopefully. We think it's gonna be convenient for people whenever they come over. So yeah, that is the ideas right now. We have tons of other ideas of like how we're gonna go ahead and get mic placements and stuff in here for everybody. We're probably going to be looking at using this microphone right here. This is an amazing microphone. A review should be coming out on it soon or if it hasn't, uh, or it may have already came out. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and show you how one or two of the desks go together and show you the rest of the space. 